$600 machine based on uh, AMD's Phenom 2 X4. So we're using the quad core for this. This thing is going to be stupid fast. I, I, I don't, I'm going to dare anybody on the internet to come up with a faster $600 system and then a faster $1,200 system than this one right here that's linked on the screen. But you got to watch this video first. Well, even better would be to go and buy these things. Yeah. As a result of the video. And then send an email to the people that I'm talking about in the, in the video and be like, yeah, I watched Logan's video, and yeah, the dude just told me to buy this, so I went out and bought it, and uh, you guys should send him all kinds of stuff to review, and then I'd review it, and you guys would watch it, and everything would be great. Oh my god, what a world this would be. All right, so let's start off with the $600 machine. AMD Feedum 2 X4 965 Black Edition. It's a 3.4 gigahertz quad core, and you can overclock the hell out of this thing because it's the Black Edition. It's unlocked and... It unlocked everything. It's ninety nine bucks, and get this, it's the quad core, uh, the the more expensive. Um, what is the ten fifty five T or whatever the the the, uh, the six core? This thing beats it nine times out of ten, in just about everything. Yeah, we we have both of those here, and uh, I was really surprised. I was expecting the six core to be faster, but it's it's really unless you're doing like handbrake, it's really yes. not. Yes, it's, it's it's faster in handbrake. It's faster in Premiere. It's faster with rendering. Gaming, most desktop applications, this thing will run circles around it. I mean, games don't really take advantage of all six cores just yet. So, okay, motherboard, MSI 890 GXM uh, G65. That's a micro ATX AM3 motherboard, um, AM3 Plus motherboard. It's got USB 3 and SATA 6. Makes me happy. Uh, it's also one of the MSI motherboards that has the military-grade components. It's all the state Japanese capacitors. It's really nice. Uh, I quite like that. Also, this one has surprisingly good onboard audio 24 bit 192 kilohertz uh quote unquote lossless audio so the audio on board on this one is nothing to sneeze at for the memory uh grabbing the 8 ADA, um it's the xpg gaming series eight gigabytes of that it's two uh four gig sticks so you'll have some room to upgrade in the future because you got four ram slots in this motherboard 16 megahertz 48 bucks and uh really highly reviewed i mean really highly reviewed for the hard drive, I've decided to go with the A-Data, and the reason I'm going with the A-Data is because you get more storage out of this one than you do with the other ones. It's Sand Force based, um, so it's going to be similar in performance, actually better in performance from my tests. It was like 2 or 3 megabytes per second faster uh, than just about any other drive that I've tested that uses the same Sand Force controller, but it has um, more storage, and the reason is is because RAISE. RAISE is redundant array of independent silicon elements. And uh, that's something that's built into the Sandforce firmware. It allows the drives uh, to basically, I don't know, use one of the uh, the chips, one of the one of the many chips, one of the channels. Yeah, one of the channels, uh, as like a backup, you know, for parodies and that sort of thing. Uh, this one doesn't do that. And in my opinion, you really don't need that unless you're doing something like enterprise grade, like you have a server. You really do want that. These drives are going to last you well over five years. I mean, the flash technology these days is great. So they've just kind of turned that off. They're the only one in the 128 gigabyte flavor that has that turned off. So you do get more space. With this one, you get like eight more than like the Corsair and the and and all those, and you get like 20 more than like a Vertex 3 because those are only 120 gigabytes and they have that turned on. So some of the vendors um, have been playing it a little fast and loose with the quality of flash chips. Uh, mm. Like they're you know the flash chips are stamped S for secondary and it's like. You know seconds yeah i saw an ocz that did that and that that's a lot of the reason that they use the backup channel is like well we can you know use the lower quality flash chips and get away with it because we're using the thing but i think that's you know a data is saying a lot about the quality of the chips they're putting in the drive yeah they do put high quality chips in these drives and almost all the reviews online are like five stars nine out of ten so uh highly recommended this drive i actually called the guys myself and said hey i haven't played with that but i've read a lot of good things can you send it over i have played with it now and i do endorse it so there it is all right, moving right along. Uh, for the video card, we're going to grab the MSI GeForce 560 Ti. You cannot beat that card for a mid-range card for 174 bucks. I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with it. We've got plenty of them, <laughs> plenty of them around here. It's just, it's just the best card you can get for 175 dollars right now. Um, got to watch those AMD cards because they are coming down in price. So, who knows? 6870 is also a nice one to watch. But if you overclock the 560 Ti, it's like 15, 20% faster than the 6870. So there you go. Um, for the case, grabbing a cheap Rosewell R101P BK. If you find a better case, grab it. I don't care. I'm not going to judge you. This, I'm just grabbing something cheap so I can fit it into the price point. 40 power supply. It's very important to get a decent brand, so I'm going to grab a Seasonic. Uh, check out the M12 II. 
It's 520 watts. It's bronze, 80 plus certified. It's got EPS for the environmental stuff, all that. Uh, it's really nice. Now, the one thing I like about this, other than the fact that it's modular, it's a Seasonic. Seasonic makes high quality stuff. They use Japanese capacitors. Plus, the fact that it's modular means you'll only be using the cables that you need. So, highly recommended for only $59.99. Optical drive, we're grabbing an LG, it's $16.99. DVD, CD writer. Total on this one is about $624 that's shipped out the door to your house. And I dare you to come up with something faster for that. If you do, email me. No, don't email me. Put it on the forum. I've got so many emails over these videos. If you have a severe question, like a severe one, you know, like, I don't know, whatever severe is. But you can email me at inbox at techsyndicate.com. Uh, I'll be making inbox videos more frequently. Making some upgrades to the website so we have a little bit more time now. Um, but if you... Have just a general question, feel free to use the forums. They're very alive right now. Like, very, very alive. So head over to techsyndicate.com and join us. We're going to be the smartest bunch of guys on the internet. It totally won't be like in Daisy where you show up and it's like, hey guys, what's doing? And then you get axed today. <laughs> <No. laughs> That's like what happens when I go to the Apple forums. I'm like, hey, I can't figure out how to turn off mouse acceleration. You're like, oh, noob, PC user, mouse acceleration is superior. You should shut up and get used to it. Like, whoa, guys, just ask the question. <laughs> All right, then. So go ahead uh, and check out our other videos this, this month. We have a uh, $1,200 PC that is going to kill everything and everything, everything's mother while eating potato chips. And uh, then we've also got the $400 console replacement machine. We've got an Intel and an AMD option. So you guys can check out all those videos as well. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time.